In this video, we are going to discuss different types of computer forensics investigations. There are primarily two different types of computer forensics investigation. One is public and the other is private. So let's get started with public investigations. You actually get to conduct public investigations in criminal cases and law enforcement is typically involved in the public investigations. The public investigations are typically conducted by the law enforcement. As you may have seen in many of these famous TV shows, some of these crime scene investigators are, in fact, computer forensics investigators. Public investigations are also driven by the statutes of the criminal law. I mentioned that public investigations occur in the context of uh, criminal cases and some of these criminal cases include drug dealers, sexual exploitations, theft, and so on. And what's common across all these different criminals or crimes is that they actually use computers to commit their crimes. So as long as computers are involved when it comes to somehow committing the crimes, public investigations have to be conducted, especially using many of the computer and cyber forensics techniques. Private investigations occur in civil cases or it may not involve any litigations at all because a lot of times some of these organizations they're trying to avoid any legal proceedings due to the enormous cost involved in pursuing these legal cases. Private investigations are typically conducted by corporations or any other types of organizations out there. Private investigations are driven by the statutes of the civil law or policies because when it doesn't involve any legal cases the investigations are mainly driven by the internal policies developed by an organization so uh, in the case of private investigations the role of policies is critical there are some important things to consider in private investigations. The first thing is really this idea of business continuity. The whole purpose of a private investigation is really to make sure the business is still going on and somehow making the money or making sure that the normal business operation is not really disrupted by any of the violations of company policies. Therefore, the priority is always stopping the violation so that the business goes on as usual. One thing to note here is that the boundary between public and private investigations is not always very clear. It is actually blurry. For example, let's say your organization is investigating a case in which an employee has abused the computing resources of your organization and in the process of the investigation somehow you make a discovery of a sexually explicit materials involving minors. In that case, the case quickly becomes a public investigation because the nature of the case has just changed from a private investigation into a public investigation involving a criminal case. So the bottom line here is that as an investigator you should be familiar with both public and private investigations because you never know what's gonna happen. So you have to be proficient in both public and private investigations as a computer forensics professional.